Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks in this little, it's going to be a little short video about double clicking. I found this a year or so ago by accident. I was down in here and I was going to double click on my pen tool to get to that graphic. But I must have been off and I double clicked and it put my pen tool and my fill tool up top. And it really irritated me. I had to, I couldn't figure out how to get it back and I had to shut Corel Draw, draw down and start back with default. But if you want it back, you just double click. Now, I've been using it so long now, I, I couldn't stand to have it not here. But if you're new to Corel, you might want to think about putting it up here. And, you know, be something different. But also, the double click will work right here. When you have this dotted line, and I hope you can see that in the video, it's because your toolbox isn't locked. So if you double click on that, it moves your toolbox out of the you know into an icon now one thing that's nice about having your toolbox here it's you know maybe a little more visible when you're working but you can also right click on that and you know, customize it and make your buttons larger because there's more room to fit on this bar than there is down that side because if you do this on where the toolbox is normally at, you're going to run out of room. Now I'm going to put mine back and I'll just show you how to put it back. So just right click on that, customize, toolbar, small buttons, and then just double click that. It brings it back out to the open. And this isn't a bad deal if you're working on something really tight. But to put it back, you, all you have to do is just drag it over till it meets that docker and then always make sure it's always at the top but anyway that's just a little short video on double clicking hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching